Good day, dear student. Today we will have a lecture of a discipline prevention and communal dentistry. The theme of our lecture is sealing fissures of teeth, prevention of inflammatory diseases of periodontal tissues. Purpose of the lecture. Familiarize yourself with the method of fissure sealing, a component of the pathogenetic prevention of dental caries. To study the risk factors for the occurrence of inflammatory diseases of periodontal tissues as well as diagnostic indices, the state of periodontal tissues. Relevance of the lecture Fissure sealings is the most effective method of carious prevention. Knowledge of the factors of occurrence of gingivitis and periodontis don't it is. The ability to conduct paraclinical indices allow timely and effective prevention of this pathology. Permanent teeth erupt into the oral cavity with incomplete enamel mineralization. Mineralization three years after the eruption of milk teeth proceeds actively. Then there is a slow down. Full maturation of enamel about 10 years. Fissures are the most difficult to mineralized part of the tooth, it says the doctor of uh, Dr. Leontief. Enamel hypermineralization in teeth that erupted early or later than the average statistical period. Carious risk prediction. prediction. Electroodonometria about 8 microampere. It is a low risk. Electrometria about 9 to 29 microampere. It is 50% of risk. And electrodontometria more than 20 microampere, it is 100% uh, of the risk. The enamel of open fissures receives minerals from saliva. Enamel of narrow and deep fissures only through the dentin, which is less effective. Structure of the fissures The orifice of the fissures uh, diameter uh, from 0 0.005 to 1.5 mm. Fissure depth about 0.1 to 3 mm. And bottom diameter uh, 0 0.1 to 1.2 mm. And the picture we see orifice, bottom and depth of the fissures.
morphological variants of fissures based on foam with constant diameter with a wide entrance and a narrow bottom with a narrow entrance and a wide bottom based on depths shallow up to one third of the enamel thickness medium depths up to one half enamel thickness deep not reaching uh, the enamel dentin border by uh, 100 microns and complete reaching dentin Types of, of fissures. It may be conical, open, bowl shaped, funnel shaped, closed or second name drops, drop shaped, mixed, and polypoid. And in picture we see anatomical types of fissures structure. Picture A it is the open fissures. Picture B it is the deep. Picture C and D it is the deep fissures on the ampulla type of structure. And in second picture we see uh, the the infusions of fluoride contain two space in the ample structure of fissures. Possible form of pits and fissures. It can be narrow, eye shaped, 90 person, white, U shaped, 14 person, open, cone shaped, funnel shaped, acute angel, and V shaped. 34 person hemisphere groove for uh, 14 person and closed teardrop shaped back shaped narrow neck flesh and polypoid 26 person fissure sealing is a prevention of carriers of the chewing surface of molars and premolars of permanent teeth molars of temporary teeth by filling intact fissures with adhesive materials, sealants, which prevents contact of the tooth surface with saliva, microorganisms and plaque. Method of efficiency 
um, from 55 to 99 person. Nineteen sixty seven cured Bunaker the first experience of feeling etched fissures with a mixture of silicate cement powder with metacrylate monomer. The result is a reduction in the annual increase in carriers by 87 person. 1971 the first sealant Nuva seal. Sealant is a material that is introduced into the occlusal pits and fissures and uh, forms a protective layer micromechanical bonded to the enamel. Cutting off the excess of cardiogenic bacteria to food source. Simonson, 1978. Seal, it is English, fill and close. Research method chewing surface of the tooth. It is a visual inspection. Instrumental zoning or probing. X-ray and laser diagnostics. The first matter it is a visual. Uh, first remove plug from the surface of the tooth and dry. Look at the color change. Enamel, chalky, yellow, brown and black. In novely erupted teeth, discoloration is an indicator of carriers. And in picture we see uh, this discoloration of the fissures. Probing. The absence of a mechanical defect in the enamel and the orifice or at the orifice. The probe does not get stuck. Does not mean the absence of carriers. Science carriers can develop under apparently unchanged enamel in the depths of the fissures. inaccessible to probing. Sticking of the probe may be due to immaturity of the enamel. A sharp metal probe irreversible damage hypomineralizate enamel. A probe with a wooden tip is used. Hardness is lower than that of young enamel or a blunt probe. The effectiveness of the method is tw uh, from 20 to 15 person. The next method it is X-ray. 
on the tubing surface is impossible detect carriers of fissures in the early stage before damage to the tissues under the surface of the enamel or dentin. Carrier's lesions are already outside the enamel dentin border. However, it is not possible to detect this with a probe. Uh, F it is a slit like fissure walls. And C it is the carrier's process in the dentin under the fissures. The next method it is a laser diagnostics or laser fluorescence method. Based on the measurement of fluorescence indicated in the microbial mass by laser light. Carriers is highlighted by a laser beam. Efficiency divide diagnodent. Device is uh, called diagnodent. Efficiency uh, from 70 to 100 percent. With fissures of the capsula type, the method is optimal. Indications for fissure sealing. The first, uh, it is the first six from uh, two twelve months after eruption of both permanent and temporary teeth. From six to seven years, it is the first molars. From 10 to 11 years old, it is the premolars. And from 12 to 30 years old, it is the second molars. It is believed that in uh, later periods, the enamel is mineralized and there is no need for sealing. Second indications. The position of the teeth in a state of incomplete occlusion. Third, features of odontoglyphics, odontoglyphics, deep pronounced relief. Teeth cannot be effectively cleaned with hygiene products. And four, it is a poor patient hygiene. Contraindication for fissural sealing. Absolute. Carriers on the tubing or contact surface of the teeth. Allergy to metacrylates for composite materials, but we can uh, use another materials. Relative contraindication. Absence of pronounced pits and fissures. Incomplete eruption of the tubing surface.
material for fissure sealings. It can be composites, chemical or photopolymer, glass ionomer cement, compomers or amalgam. And we see in picture fissure sealing, tubercles, fissures, before and after fissure sealings, when sealant uh, we used in fissures. Super sealing or Enhanced ceiling. Simonsen, 1977. Super seal or resin bonded reinforced ceiling. Or quintessential sealant. It is a methodology. A, a photo sealant is introduced into the fissures on top of it, even before the polymerization of the sealant, plus composite material, and this two layer mass is introduced into the depths of the fissures. Both layers are polymerized in one session for um, 40 to 16 seconds. And in first picture we see application of sealant. And second picture we see introduction of mechanically strong composite. First picture it is a conventional fissure ceiling and second in down it is a reinforced fissure ceiling. Fluorides in bis uh, GMR sealants. Added to composite materials in the form of a P soluble salt, which dissociated immediately after application of the composite material to the tooth. Organic fluoride compounds are chemically bonded to the resin and fluorine ions are gradually released through ion exchange reactions. The retention of the sealing material from 20 to 90 person depends on the accuracy of the technology. And in this picture we see a violation of the marginal feed. Fissure sealing methods. The first it is non-invasive with full preservation of tooth tissues. The second method it is invasive with minimal excision of fissure enamel. Sealing technologies. 
depending on the state of the fissure system. Preventive sealing Isolation of healthy fissures on a healthy tooth surface by non-invasive or invasive sealing methods. Therapeutic sealing Isolation of fissures with an unclear diagnosis, doubtful or with initial carriers by non-invasive sealing. Preventive restoration A combination of preparation and restoration of tissues of a carrier's focus with isolation of healthy fissures adjacent uh, to it by invasive sealing. Non-invasive sealing Purpose is to create a physical barrier at the orifice of the fissure without striving to fill the fissures to their full depth. Gently, painless The loss of the sealing material does not have a dramatic significance signs of the tooth tissues have not been prepared simplicity cheapness as an element of group and even communal carriers prevention Disadvantages Difficulties is proving a high level of micromechanical bonding of the material with fissure enamel. The probability of sealing fissures with undiagnosed caries. Cleansing of fissures from pellicle and plug cannot be complete. The contact of conditioner with the enamel is of a fragmentary nature. Signs the outer non-prism layer of enamel is etched worse with gaps shallow. Penetration of the sealant into a narrow or closed fissure is hampered by capillary loss. The risk of seal undiagnosed latent carriers that develops in the depths of the fissure. Bacteriological studies 75% of microorganisms in the lumen of fissures are killed by air conditioning.
80% of microorganisms in the area of damaged enamel die due to the cessation of nutrient sample after one week of stay under the sealant. After two years, uh, about 0.01% of microorganisms remain viable in the enamel under sealant. It says Handelman 1972, Merz uh, Fireharst in 1998. 75% of small carious cavities reach uh, the dentin. Invasive Sealing by Garcia Godoy 1994 Enameloplasty Vital Enamel Biopsy Preventive Restoration Essence Mechanical Removal of the Minimum layer of enamel sufficient to revise the condition of the walls and bottom of the fissure. Expansion for warning. Sealing stages. As um, assessment of the situation, deficient of strategy, sealing decision algorithm, choice of strategy for the patient, signs of a high risk of carriers in a child. The appearance of two or more new forces of carriers within one year and or the presence of two or more risk factors. High incidence of carriers in parents, sister and brothers. Disorders of somatic and or mental health. Low salivation rate. High frequency of carbohydrate consumption. Irregular visits to the dentist. Low level of hygiene. Irregular use of fluorides. High uh, big KPU or uh, small KPU. Presence of carriers or fillings in fissures. Uh, things of high carriers risk in adults. The appearance of three or more new forces of carriers within three years or the presence of two or more risk factors. Low salivation rate. High Frequency of carbohydrate consumption, irregular visits to dentist, low level of hygiene, 
irregular use of fluorides, high KPU. Choice of strategy for the tooth. Sealing is not performed in all teeth with fissures, but only in those that are at risk of carriers. Fissure sealing is justified and successful the more pronounced the relief of the occlusal surface and the deeper the fissures. Sealing flat teeth with white and easily cleaned fissures is not justified. High risk of fissure carriers in a particular tooth. With low opportunities for purification. Low level of mineralization. Electrodonometry uh, about 20 microampere. In the presence of carriers restorations on the other surface of the tooth. We take into account the group affiliation and age of the teeth and necessary sealed. Choice of strategy for the fissures. First, healthy. Observation, low risk of carriers. Sealing, high risk of carriers. Second, doubtful. Sealing. Enamel carriers with sealing. Denton carriers we do restoration. Opaque and pigmented fissures are subject to sealing in all cases, science regardless of the presence or absence of other risk factors. They will be affected by carriers with a probability of 50%. The next, the choice of technology and materials for sealing. Technological stages of sealing pits and fissures can include up to 30 steps. And in table we see this. Non-invasive sealing. We do professional dental hygiene. We do determination of occlusal contacts of the tooth. Uh, we, we can do... Uh, Mm, can do and can don't do rubber dam insulation. Then we washing, drying and diagnostic of tissue condition. Invasive sealing. We do professional dental hygiene, determination of occlusal contacts of the tooth, we can do and um, 
we can do and uh, we can don't do rubber dump insulation washing drying diagnostics of tissue condition uh, fissure anomaloplasty washing drying and diagnostic tissue of condition and if we do preventive filling we do professional dental hygiene determination of occlusal contact of the tooth rubber dam insulation washing drying diagnostics of tissue condition fissure and um, anomaloplasty washing drying diagnostics of tissue condition and then preparation of carious tissue and their restoration. Preparation of fissures and pits for filling with various materials sealing and control. If we use glass ionomer cement, we do insulation, drying, etching condition, the technology uh, stage is op uh, optional. Uh, we do material mixing, apply cube material, material curing, quality control and correction of sealing and insulation with hydrophobic washing. If we use modified glass ionomer cements, we do insulation, drying, etching, then bond polymerization, material mixing, Apply material, material curing, quality control and correct of sealing, insulation with hydrophobic washing, washing, varnish. If we use compromise, we do insulation, drying, etching, bond polymerization. Apply material, material curing, quality control and correction of sealing, and fluorization. If we used bond photopolymer, the first stage it is the insulation, drying, etching, washing, drying. Bond introduction, bond polymerization, apply material, material curing, quality control and correction of sealing, and fluorization. If we uh, use uh, hemopolymer, we do insulation, drying, etching, washing drying uh, we can do or can don't do uh, bond introduction and bond polymerization in hemopolymer uh, that is about uh, what hemopolymer we used then we material mixing apply material material curing quality control and correction of sealing and fluorization and photopolymer insulation drying etching varnish drying bond introduction and bond polymerization material uh, applied material material curing, 
we don't uh, mixing material uh, quality control and correction of ceiling insulation with heterophobic varnish and fluorization Sealing quality control. The presence of a sealant in all prepared enamel recesses, completeness of sealant polymerization, no pores in the sealant, air bubbles, adaptation of sealant edges to enamel. Bound straight of sealant with enamel. No risk of occlusal injury due to excess sealant. Observation of the condition of uh, the teeth covered with sealant. Inspection. After 6, most critical uh, 12, uh, 18 and 24 months. Cleaning teeth, drying teeth, examining the surface of the tooth and sealant. Visually, using a five-fold magnifying glass. Tactically, with a probe. The edges of the sealant are pried off. Checking the straight of adhesion to the enamel. The edges of the enamel are examined as protein chili carriers. The next it is studying the clinical effectiveness of fissure sealing. Percentage of loss, lost and saved sealants during 6, 12, 18 and 24 months. The degree of protection of the teeth sealant against carriers. Reduction of carriers, growth and other. Possible results of clinical examination of previously sealed tooth. Uh, parameter. It is the degree of preservation of sealant on the tooth. Condition option. Saved completely. Partially preserved in the separate depressions. Not determined on the surface of the tooth. Parameter. The quality of the preserved sealant. Each staining. No staining. There is a slight staining. There is a strong state. The another condition it is anatomical wear no things of wear there is slight wear there is a strong wear another condition each adaptation quality no defect 
With a weak defect, the umbrella is delayed. With a significant defect, gap. Parameter, enable condition. And option, it is the without things of carriers. Uh, enable carriers or dentin carriers. Inflammatory periodontal diseases um, by WHO Acute gingivitis Chronic gingivitis Acute periodontitis Chronic periodontitis Gingivitis is an inflama inflammation of the gums caused by the adverse effects of local and general factors occurring without violating the integrity of the dentogingival junction. Periodontitis is an inflammation of the periodontal tissues Characterized by the destruction of the periodontal junction with the formation of a periodontal pocket and progressive destruction of the bone tissues of the alveolar process of the jaw. And in this picture we see healthy tooth and uh, dentogingival sulcus physiological pocket. We see gingivitis, it is the second uh, picture, gingival pocket falls. And periodontitis, periodontal pocket true pathological. Risk factors for gingivitis and periodontitis. First of all, it is a local. Poor oral hygiene. Violation of the technique of brushing teeth. The predominance of soft food. Easily fermentable. Carbohydrates in the diet. Hypersalivation. Increased viscosity of saliva. Anomiles in the development of the oral mucosa. Short frenulum of the lips. Tongue. Small vestibule of the oral cavity. Anomiles in the position of the teeth and occlusion. Second, it is a general, general factors. General somatic pathology of the endocrine system. Diabetes mellitus. Pathology of the pituitary adrenal system. Hyperfunction of the gonads. Gastrointestinal tract. 
connective tissue diseases and allergies. Violation of the diet, medications, pregnancy, puberty, stress and nevrosis, smoking, hereditary, environment pollution. Parodontogenes. It is a anaerobes that cause inflammation of the periodontium. Aggregatable bacter and tinamicetum comitens. Tannerella forcitesis. Prevotella intermedia, Porphyromonas gingivalis, Treponema denticola, Fusobacteria, Actinomycetes, Candida. And we see how it looks at microscope. For the development of the disease, a combination of a sufficient amount of periodontogens in the biofilm, favorable conditions for their growth and reproduction, the absence of antagonists. The sensitivity of the human body to microorganisms and their metabolic products. Index assessment of the state of periodontal tissues. Schiller Pissarev test. Detection of glycogen in the gums. Its content increases with inflammation. Signs there is no keratinization of the epithelium. In the epithelium of a healthy gum. Glycogen is absent, or there are traces of it. Depending on the intensity of inflammation, the color of the gums, when lubricated with a Schiller Pissarev solution, changes from light brown to dark brown. With a healthy gum, there is no color. Evaluation of gum staining. In straw yellow color, a negative test. In light brown color, weekly positive test. In dark brown color, a positive test. The Criterion uh, for the effectiveness of treatment, science anti-inflammatory therapy reduces the amount of glycogen in the gums. Bleeding index of interdental papilla. Papilla bleeding index, PBI, 
by uh, Sacher uh, Muhleman 1975. Probing for itching tooth. On the vestibular surface of one and uh, third quadrants, on the oral uh, surface, on second and four quadrants. Values are determined uh, separately for each quadrant and average over the enter occlusion. Evaluation within 30 seconds after probing. Grade uh, 0 it is absent, 1 separate point, 2 numerous point or liner, 3 fills the interdental gingival groove, 4 intensive flows along the tooth or gum. Gingival Bleeding Index Sulcus Bleeding Index SBI Muhleman and Son 1971 Probing for each tooth on the vestibular surface of one and third quadrants, on the oral surface on two and four quadrants, values are determined separately for each quadrant and average over the enter occlusion, evaluation within 30 seconds after probing. SBI bleeding index grade 0 no bleeding, 1 there is bleeding and calculation is amount point uh, divide for number of T's and for 100 person. Interpretation. From 100 to 50 person it is the average inflammation of the gums. From 50 to 20 person it is the average degree of inflammation. From 20 to 10 person it is mild inflammation of the gums. The next it is the gingival sulcus blending index. Sulcus blending index SP by Mulman and Son 1971. Probing at uh, Ramford T's. Evaluation within 30 seconds after probing. We probing uh, the T's 16, 12, uh, 24, 36, 32 and 44. 0 it is absent, 1 separate point, 2 numerous point or liner, 3 fills the interdental gingival groove, 4 intensive flows along the tooth or gum. Probing in all teeth. 0. The gum is not changed. There is no bleeding. 1. The gum is not changed. Bleeding occurs. 2. The gums in inflammated bleeding. 3. Similar to t, uh, 2 degrees plus slight swelling of the gums. 4. Similar to grade 3 plus pronounced edema. 5. Similar to grade 4 plus spontaneous bleeding and gingival erosion. Uh, Sulcus bleeding index by Muhlen and Koval 1971. Probing in all teeth, zero absent, one not early than after 30 seconds, two immediately or within 30 seconds, 
and three when eating or brushing your teeth. Criteria for evaluation 1.1 to 1 it is mild inflammation. From 1.1 to 2 it is a moderate inflammation. And from 2.1 to 3 it is a severe inflammation. Gingiva index lower and silness 1967. Evaluate the gums in all teeth or groups from all four sizes sides. Zero no inflammation. One mild inflammation, slight hyperemia, slight swelling, no bleeding. Two Moderate inflammation, hyperemia, edema, bleeding. 3. Severe inflammation, hyperemia, edema, ulceration, spontaneous bleeding. And 2. Uh, gingiva index. Amount sites uh, divide to 4. Gingiva index for group of the teeth. It is the amount tooth uh, score divided to number of teeth. 0 0.1 to 1 point to 1. It is a point middle gingivitis. 1.1 to 2. It is a moderate gingivitis. And 2.1 to 3. It is a average gingivitis. Papilla marginal alveolar index PMI 1948 allows you to judge the prevalence and severity of gingivitis. Experience is absolutely numbers, the average value of all examined teeth. The gums are stained with Schiller Pissarif solution. Great. Zero. It is a no inflammation. One. Inflammation of the gingival papilla. Two. Inflammation of the gingival margin. And three. Inflammation of the alveolar gums. And calculation. Uh, amounts points. Uh, for each tooth, divide to number of the teeth, and we see uh, amounts points of the each tooth is uh, it can be uh, 39. We divide to three, it is a 1.3. Modification of the PMA index by Parma. It it is uh, it must be PMA. And we see how it is calculation. Amount PMA to 100 divide to 3. It is the number uh, and number of teeth. Uh, grade upper to 25 person. Mild gingivitis. 25 to 15 person. It is the average degree of gingivitis. And more than 15 person. It is the average gingivitis. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.